Sorry for the cutoff, my grandma called me. Um, what was I talking about? Support system. Oh, I think people should have, uh, you know, you know, it not should have. It would be, you know, I feel like it would be beneficial if someone, if people had, you know, a faith that they believed in, in something. And that's just me. But I want to, then I have to take another math course next semester, which is a bummer. But hey, it's one of those things like I've come to, you know, a realization that everything happens uh, in God's timing and everyone's path is different. I was very discouraged uh, about not graduating, you know, at 22 and potentially graduating at 25. Like, and all my friends graduated, you know, 22, you know, a semester or a year uh, later. But me, it's two years later now. Everyone graduated in 2016. 2018 so it's very discouraging especially when you feel like you're the only one that hasn't graduated like literally I feel like everyone has graduated but me um granted I did have Charlie and I did go through a very big breakup that put me in a bad spot for about a year so I went part-time for about a year so that pushed me back on top of the fact that when I transferred from my first university uh, the credits didn't transfer. They weren't equivalent to the uh, course load at the university I go to now. So the university I go to now is really IU. I went to ISU, so it's a little bit more competitive at IU. So a lot of the classes I had to retake again, which is fucking freaking stupid. But that's just what I had to do. So when I transferred, I lost about... So I was there for two years. And it's really like when I came to IU, like IUPUI, it's like I only had like a semester worth of classes. To, that counted for anything and I was like I it was just so I still to this day on my transcript have to get classes approved from ISU to be equivalent for courses that I that I know are equivalent here at IUPUI so that's it's just been a you know a very wild uh ride over the past six years <laughs> you know and I never thought I would be that person that, you know, I wasn't like that in high school or, any, you know, I've always done things on time. Like I've never had to worry about not doing things on time. So it's kind of like one of those things like, wow, that was kind of, you know, in my control, out of my control. So it's kind of like back to the point of that was, you know, me not graduating when everyone, you know, my friends and my, you know, peers did. We were all in college together. So it's like, you know, everyone's getting good jobs and traveling and it just, you know, it, it just gets discouraging because I am young and it's like, I want to do that stuff. And, you know, I can travel. It's like, it's just harder. It's not impossible to travel with a kid when you have children or, you know, if you're like still in school, it's not hard. It's not impossible. I mean, it's not impossible. It is a little harder, you know, because you have to like kind of schedule and plan and, you know, who's going to watch your child for however many days you're going to be gone, you know, daycare, um, a lot of stuff going to like when you travel. So that's why it's a little bit harder. Um, or people even say it's like impossible to travel with children because you have so much other stuff to do other than planning a trip to go. When I went to Atlanta in uh, March I had to plan so much stuff I like planned week I don't like like planning stuff like weeks if not a month or so in advance to leave for like five days and like normally my friends can like okay next week I'm going on vacation or like really like oh tomorrow or two days from now I'm going on I'm doing this like I wish it was that easy for me you know because I have to take into account her dad's work schedule when he'll be available you know and then if who's gonna like the sitters when we're like he's at work and I'm not here so and then school on top of that so if I want to travel during the you know anytime during the year it's preferable to uh that I travel during the summer but I usually work a lot during the summer because I'm in school in the fall so I try to work you know mad crazy so I don't have any free time really in the summer Except for now, like I've got a little break because uh, we're not working with the students this half of the uh, summer. But, you know, it's like during school, I can't just like leave for a week. Like, 
I have class I have to go to and I'm like not that kid to be like well I'm just gonna skip and you know no I'm gonna be here so I really only get to travel during you know maybe one week during the summer spring break possibly and then maybe Christmas break if that I didn't get to go last year my family went on a little family Christmas vacation and I didn't get to go because I had to work so yeah but I just want to let you guys know that it's not impossible. It's it, it's everything is doable. God w doesn't give you tests that you can't complete successfully. Everything happens in your life for a reason. And it's to make you a better person. It, it's meant to grow you into the person you're supposed to be. These, you know, life was just easy and just, oh, just so this is, everything's happening the right way. You know, what is the right way? Because the right way could be the wrong way if you get what I'm saying like the right way may not teach you or the easy way may not teach you what you need to learn versus the hard way will teach you that lesson which will eventually you know lessons turn into blessings like that type of thing so I always you know you know like I said a couple years ago I would have been I was a lot more you know not as positive I wasn't as open-minded about you know my circumstances and I was really like me 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 this is happening to me like really victimizing myself and I learned and witnessed like me feeling sorry for myself and it didn't do anything but make me feel worse about myself in my situation it didn't help me worrying and having all this anxiety it just made me feel like shit really like and it was I went to therapy and really when I started going to therapy that's when I was like okay I'm gonna make I'm making a change I'm actively going to make a change in my life because I don't want to feel like this I don't want my life to be like this I am the creator of my own destiny I don't have to rely on external circumstances to make me happy or bring me joy I need to be